mic test one, two. This is a live broadcast. S1, this is live broadcast. Hello, parents. I am Mr. How are you, principal of One Academy. Today is the 1st of September. It's actually the designated uh, Teacher's Day holiday. But I'd like to spend this time to encourage every one of you not to be disappointed with your child's performance because there are many factors involved in the prelim science paper marking. So without further ado, I'd like to screen share with you one of my students' uh, recent prelim paper in a SEP school. So I'm doing a screen sharing here. And let's examine this question. Okay, the, this exercise is to help my student to analyze if they have answered the questions correctly or if the schools have uh, wrongly penalized them. So we use this as an approach not to finger point at any teacher's but it's more for a holistic understanding of how from different angles of perspective we can understand and help the child develop further. So if you look at these questions, the student is being tested on the concept that when the object is near to the light source, the length of the shadow should be shorter. As the object moves further away from the light source, the length of the shadow increases. So I would like to highlight to these questions in part C, it says that from the graph, Ben concluded that his dog was walking at a faster speed from point A to point B as compared from point C to point, point B to point C. And the student is required to explain how Ben come to this conclusion. So look at this student's answer. She wrote that in C, right? As the length of the shadow change its size faster okay change its size actually from here we can understand that what she meant is the length of the shadow change its size faster from a to b because this is a time so in terms of uh, representing this time frame is actually shorter a to b is a shorter time frame than from b to c so we see the her answer again as the length of shadow change its size faster from A to B than from B to C. Even though A to B and B to C are of equal length. Can you see here? A, B and B, C of equal length. So from here, actually, we can deduce that she has this conceptual understanding that it takes a faster, faster time or a shorter time of faster speed to cover the distance from A to B. I'd like to highlight to you, actually this question appears in my publication which this child has received the training. So let me do a screen share to show you my publication uh, of this book, which is on this page. Can you see here? This is on my publication page 63. So this child actually runs from J to O to Y, joy. From J to O in six seconds, and from O to Y in 20 seconds. So in my questions here, I say from the graph in figure two here, how can you prove or explain that David run faster from position J to O than from O to Y? Okay, here is a bit slightly different. Here the time is stated. So can you see there's a question here that O is a midpoint. That means this is equal distance. J, O and O, Y equal distance. So he took 6 seconds to cover J to O and 14 seconds to cover O to Y. So this student actually has learned well and she presented her answer quite well. That's why I like to appeal to the marker to re-award her this mark because technically the candidate's answer is correct. Let's move further to see other questions. And also part D, part D is relating to these questions about this tree bowl and the temperature change of the tower. So in these questions, it says, give a reason how using same thickness of bowl helps to make the experiment a fair test. 
So if we increase size to see the candidate's answer, because I do not blame the marker, because sometimes when the student write in short or write in small handwriting and is not very neat, it can be quite daunting task to read or to understand what the candidates present. So I have the benefits of technology to increase the font size as you can see here. So actually the candidate wrote, as by using the same thickness of the bowl, the experiment is fair, as we know that only the change variable, okay, she identified the change variable, which is the type, which is the material of the bowl, affects the temperature of the tower. But the model answer presented by the school is, thickness would affect the rate of heat flow. So in my personal opinion, the candidate's answer clearly identified the only change variable, which is clearly a more superior answer than the model answer. So in other words, I appeal to the marker of this school to do the standardization exercise again to accept this candidate answer as acceptable and award her the full marks. Okay, let's continue the next question. I just check whether I'm doing the right screen sharing. Yes, indeed I am. Okay, this question is actually quite fascinating. Look at these questions, you can do the screenshot because I won't read out the, the questions due to the shortage of time. Okay, here they say, what is the purpose of placing sugared liquid on the model flowers? What is the purpose? So you can read here and do a, a screenshot to free screen. Okay, let's see the candidate's answer. Actually, she wrote to attract bees. Technically, she's correct because the answer given is the bees would land and feed on the sugar liquid. But however, this is my argument in favor of the candidate's answers. Because her answer is actually reasonable according to the parameters stated in the questions. So what are the parameters? The parameter says that wanted to find out the color of flowers which most, bree most bees prefer. Okay, so I give you an analogy. Okay, most bees prefer does not equate to mandatory feeding. That's why you must mark precisely. So this analogy is this is, for example, if you prefer to meet student A, does it necessarily mean that you have to kiss the student A to demonstrate your preference? Okay, because to meet, because the purpose of this experiment, I mean, you may laugh, lah, okay? Because I'm also a very jovial person. So you can see, this is to find out the color of flower which the bees prefer. Because in the parameter set, it doesn't say that the bee feeds on the, the, the nectar or whatever, the sugar liquid. So that's why I like to appeal to the school that this student answer is reasonable and she should be given the one mark. Okay, thank you for your kind understanding and hopefully the joke can <laughs> inspire you to look our questions to do a marking exercise with an open mind. Okay, secondly, actually these questions also appears in my publication, which I've helped students over the years. Uh, as I scroll down, I can't remember which page it is, but as I scroll down, you can actually see these are high quality worksheets and indeed it is here. So when I teach this question, I teach the concept. Okay, I ask the student to write down the concepts below. Metals are good conductors of heat. When they are heated, they gain heat and expand, become longer. Most metals are also good conductors of electricity. So I want you to do a, a free screen or screenshot of this. So this device, you can see the water sprinkler here. So when the weather is uh, hot, get overheated, so the steel wire will gain heat and expand. So let's look at the student's answer. So she has answered quite well here, but I do not know why she was being penalized by deducting one mark. Okay, because I see that, hey, the candidate's answer is perfectly correct. Why over penalize her? This question was published in my PSLE science book, which I've just shown you and this student has been trained to answer well. In fact, all the concepts closed circuit, she even mentioned the conversion of chemical potential energy to electrical energy, 
which is more superior answering than the majority. Because most students, they will not mention this part. I think this student should be praised rather than wrongly penalized. So as examiners, as professional educators, we need to be more open-minded because MOE is also moving towards this view of uh, adopting a more open-minded in accepting students' reasonable answer. Okay, As long as the answer is reasonable, does not contradict any scientific theory or concept, the student should be awarded the full marks. So do take note, uh, examiners and PSLE markers this year, and also SEAB. This is, I think, is the best example to illustrate the student can actually integrate what she has learned in energy conversion into, into electrical circuit systems. So I think this student should be greatly praised for her courage and for her creativity in integrating the concept she has learned. So well done. Okay, let's move on to the next question which I annotated here. Okay, this actually is quite mouthful, but I and I like to encourage you to screenshot this. Okay, this experiment actually, the answer is quite straightforward. In part A, they say which ball, 200, 500 or 800 gram, would result in the metal rods making the loudest sound when the ball rolled down the ramp. Okay, so this device, we don't understand the concept behind it, but we just accept as it is being presented. So they say as the ball is being rolled down, you can hear the sound. Okay, there's, a, there's a sound sensor here attached next to the metal rods. So the student has actually identified the correct ball, okay, but she was given zero marks. Okay, do take note, parents, because in the current day PSL marking protocol, for question with two marks, if the student is required to explain, although the student or candidate has identified the correct answer, in this case, the 800 grams ball, but if the answer is wrong, no marks will be given. So this one, I'm quite clear. Okay, I'm not appealing that why she should she, she get the mark for this 800 gram. Because I understand the current PSLE or SCAB marking protocol. So if explanation is required, although the student present the right choice, but the explanation doesn't fit, no marks will be given. So this is my uh, comment. Okay, firstly, if you can examine carefully that the statement, the greater the mass of an object, the more GPE or gravitational potential energy it has. Okay, actually, it's a perfect relationship expression. She has clearly identified the 800 grams and grammatically and logically, she answered well. Because if you see this context, right, we must be marking contextually as required. 500 grams is actually greater than 200 grams, right? And 800 grams is greater than 500 grams. So in my personal analysis, in such, in such answer, SCAB, I believe, will award this so-called direct inference as acceptable answer because there's no contradictory evidence that prove otherwise. So therefore, I appeal to the school examiner or marker or HOD to reconsider marking this. Yeah, because if you look at the answer carefully, that there's no contradiction of any uh, concepts being misplaced. And secondly, for this next question, part B, okay, the parameter set is without changing the mass of the ball suggests another change to the setup to obtain an even louder sound than part A. Okay, again, you can see that she actually obeyed the parameters. She said increase the height of the ram by using a longer pole to support the ram. Because here they did not forbid using other apparatus. So it's that without changing the mass of the ball. So she did not change, right? But she used a longer pole. So in such questions, perhaps during the examination setting, the examiner in the rush of meeting the deadline might have forgotten to put in this extra parameter without using other apparatus. So in such a situation, if the student answer correctly, we must be fair to the student. So once again, for this question, instead of getting a full zero mark, in fact, this student should be given the full three marks. 
Yeah, because emotionally, we need to understand the emotion of children. Nowadays, children are very fragile. If the child has learned well, and she has made effort to learn, to study, and even sacrifice her time to be punctual for her lessons in my class, and now this is the, the result that she get from the school, is actually quite emotionally draining. So as parents, as educators, as school leaders, we need to be very sensitive. I was a MOE teacher also, also in the SEP school, and even more in the same school as this child where she comes from. So I like to seek the considerations of the school leaders to be sensitive to the students. In fact, we should exercise grace all the more in mission schools. So you can see that in the past there may be students who can't manage the stress, they do silly things and ended their life prematurely. So as educators, as tutors, we need to be very sensitive. Yeah. So in such a situation, I highly recommend the awarding of full marks to this candidate because in terms of examinations, uh, presentation of skills, she satisfied the criteria. And perhaps I think in as a marker, maybe due to the, her, her manuscript a bit small and maybe a bit cursive, uh, the initial market may be difficult to decipher what she meant. So I hope that the school leaders also exercise grace to the marker without uh, penalizing the marker because teachers, uh, as you know, have great stress, have to manage their homes, their, their students, the parents, the HQ demands. So we are also humans. So I understand the pressures as marker how you feel as setters, how you feel. Yeah, in fact, I have uh, overlooked the setting of exam paper in this school where the child came from and also organized the school's uh, field trip from primary three to primary six to the zoo, to the science center and the bird park. So in fact, teachers, we showed a great responsibility, but this is our calling. So let us be encouraged and not be discouraged. Okay, next look at this question okay in this question same thing you do a screenshot because here if you can see in the first first encounter her, her handwriting is indeed uh, quite messy so i'm not sure whether this, the marker gave her two marks or give her zero mark so that's why i put a question here like to clarify is the two marks awarded because from this annotation looks like zero so please clarify with the child Okay, let's see this question. Okay, this is actually a mathematical question because maths also integrate with science. Okay, here they say based on the result, what is the effect of increasing the amounts of carbon dioxide on the amount of gas collected? Okay, actually you see the model answer is quite straightforward. But I actually appreciate what the child's uh, answer is. Because you see in part... Uh, Part B, okay, part B here, which I wrote here. Again, her presentation is technically correct. Also does not increase with reference to the whole sentence. Also infers remain the same. Okay, because she wrote does not increase. But in this context, we can qualify that this student man remains the same. Okay, and also there's no value that show any decrease. Okay, so that's why for this part B, I recommend that uh, the schools uh, remark her, her answers. I can see that the greater the amount of carbon dioxide in the water from 10 units to 20 units of carbon dioxide, the greater amount of gas collected, which is true. From here to here, there's jump from 5 to 10 centimeter, centimeter cube. And also, can you see here, she wrote something. <coughs> okay, and she wrote that uh, from 30 units of carbon dioxide onwards, from here onwards, right? 30 units of carbon dioxide onwards. The amount of gas collected does not increase. Okay, does not increase from here onwards, does not increase. So perhaps uh, if the school really needs that she put a 15 units, uh, does not increase from 15 units, perhaps instead of zero mark, she should be awarded half mark. But that depends on the standardization exercise. Because some school they don't have a half mark for these questions, it's either zero or one. 
Okay, next we see part C. Suggest a control setup that Jacob should have. Okay, let, once again you look at this, this question, her correction. And this is my comment. Her answer described the way the control setup shows deeper understanding. Okay, the way she presents actually shows deeper understanding of content knowledge. Therefore, according to SCAB protocol, she should not be penalized. The candidate should not be penalized. Because actually, if you read her answer, she actually knows that boiling water will drive out the gas uh, in the water. That's why she used boiling water. Has, water has been boiled and then cooled to the same temperature of the setup. Because uh, after cooling, right, this is actually more superior. Because you see, when you, when you boil the water, all the gases will actually expand and be uh, escaped from the water medium. So I believe this is a more superior understanding than the moral answer presented. So once again, I recommend a one mark be awarded to this candidate. Okay, let's see, are there any questions? I don't think so, there are any questions from my memory. The rest should be okay. And now I want to show you another candidate, which actually, for this first candidate, I actually worked till 2.30 a.m. this morning to help her because you see, as a child, right, they need to be understood and understanding actually comes from having a tender heart for the child so i'm very thankful that even parents they acknowledge that i have a tender heart for even adults and for students because uh, otherwise we're not i would not be in education for the last 25 years and uh, my first batch of students when i was teaching in Peihua presbyterian i was a form teacher in p3 one of the students actually has a PhD now, and we still keep in touch. Yeah, his name is Clement. So, in fact, uh, just this week, I brought him from for a 9.8 kilometers hike because he encountered pressures in his current work, and he managed to find another job that perhaps I pray that he can have better time management so he have better work-life balance. So, you see, education is a different kind of career we are actually nurturing lives we are impacting lives so therefore uh, do not be discouraged i'm not here to finger point any teachers or marker i just hope that and pray that we see education as a calling because we do not know we, what the child will become in fact yesterday i have a very interesting encounter as i just moved to Bugi Bato, i went for a swim in the civil service club I was actually relaxing my muscles in the jacuzzi and this is a senior lady, I think she's at least 12 years my seniors. So she came and joined me in the jacuzzi pool and we had a small talk and she seems uh, able to speak in a very refined manner. So I perhaps I was thinking back in my mind, perhaps she's a senior civil servant maybe in the permanent secretary caliber. <laughs> yeah, but uh, she is quite interested in the education, so she asked me a few questions about how I started my career, how I started tuition, and she's a chemistry teacher. So she said that she, I asked her where she taught her student, and she said NJC. So the first thing that came to my mind was NJC, National Junior College. In fact, many of our political leaders, our government leaders, uh, graduated from NJC. <laughs> I believe uh, PM Lee Sien Long also graduated from there. So I asked, hey, um, her name is Deborah. So I said, Deborah, you must have taught uh, many outstanding leaders uh, of Singapore. And then immediately she said, yes. And she gave me this very vivid incident that has happened perhaps maybe 35 years ago. She said that when she was a chemistry teacher in NJC, she received this report writing, I perhaps I think is a chemistry lab session, and she was very surprised by the student's presentation. She said that she has never seen such a concise and precise observation of the student that is able to present this, this piece of report, chemistry report. And she very happily said that that student when she was teaching then is our current Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Vivian Balakrishnan. And she goes on to say that she has also taught the daughter of our former defense minister, 
Dr. Yeo Ning Hong's daughter. So why I share this? Because you see, in education, we do not know what, whose life we touch. The life that you touch today, it may be the leaders for Singapore's in the next 20 years. Yeah. Or you can see it here, in my background, I actually took this photo during my cruise. It actually inspired me as educators. We must be able to see beyond the horizon. We must be able to see beyond the horizon and plan beyond the horizon. Well, maybe you may be guessing, hey, Mr. Howard Yu, you should be uh, join the MP, right? Yeah, join the PAP. Yeah, in fact, I'm still active in giving suggestions to our government. In fact, if you remember during the COVID-19 pandemic, the number of dengue cases increased in Singapore. And because uh, during that time, circuit breaker, a lot of things stopped work. So the grass continued to grow. Okay, because bright sunshine, photosynthesis, nobody kind of disturb. So the natural environment prosper. Okay. So as educators, I must set the example. Because this is a real life situation. How do you solve the dengue situation in Singapore? Now it's circuit breaker. So as a science teacher, there's something actually I want to connect you with because you see science is everyday life. You know, in primary three and four, the student learn about life cycle of animals. Yeah, life cycle of animals. Normally they learn the frog, okay, the three stage life cycle, the chicken, and then the fourth stage, the dragon, uh, the fourth stage is the butterfly and the mosquito. So mosquito is a culprit that caused the dengue fever, right? The Aedes mosquito. Okay, beside the textbook, you see science is learning beyond the horizon. Okay, we cannot only textbook studies. That's why we need to bring them for field trips. But we understand that during the pandemic, we cannot go field trips, but we can go on virtual. Okay, internet is a very good learning apparatus. So I'd like to share with you uh, some of my passion in helping students to connect with real life. As you can see in my book, which I published here, in one of the pages, actually, I wrote a suggestion to Dr. Balakrishnan about controlling the dengue. If you can see this chart here, it's actually reproduced from the NEA website. Okay, back in 2020, actually the date is quite easy to remember, 20 June 2020, okay, there were 1,374 dengue cases reported in the week. So you can free screen and read this, or you can buy a copy of my book to support my education ministry, as I'm also sponsoring students from Laos for the past 26 months because they lost their support, 20, a 10 students in Laos. So you can see that actually this one is from the NEA website. So actually I integrated this uh, example to ask students to teach them about graphical representation. So there are their questions here. But what is more interesting is this. I actually wrote to our minister, Dr. Balakrishnan. Why I write to him? Because formerly he was a former minister of national environment. And he's actually the trained eye surgeon. So he's actually very... Uh, I mean, we have one common thing. Uh, we are both science-based educators. Yeah. So actually, I wrote to him about this idea. And I was very elated. Because you see, minister is high up there, right? But this minister, Dr. Balakrishnan, he took pain and to reply me the this uh, proposal. And I feel very encouraged. Okay, during that time, it was classified confidential, but now has been declassified. I already sought his permission. So this is what uh, he replied me. He said, Mr. Dear Mr. Yu, thank you for sharing this fascinating idea. I will have to study this in greater detail. Perhaps later next week when things settle down. In the meantime, you can proceed to share with NEA for an independent assessment of the feasibility. Okay, in summary, actually I have this idea to import a species of dragonfly from a certain country to let them to reproduce in Singapore so that they can decimate the dengue uh, flies population. So this is one example that I want to inspire students. Okay, let's continue to see a next paper which I have analyzed today. 
for another student. Uh, look at this question. So this is also from a SEP school. And this is a question you can free screen and see. So they say, give a reason for your answer. Which of the birds? So the student answer correctly. And here they say, how does the flower benefit the bird? Okay, the, the, the model answer provided by the school through this student's correction is very simple. It says the flower provides food for the bird. But I actually appreciate this student answer. I think this candidate has a more superior answer and is more context specific. So that's why I appeal to the school to award her the one mark according to SCAB marking protocol. Because if you, if you see, I enlarge her handwriting here. She said that the small hole in this flower, this small hole, okay, the passageway, helps to ensure no other types of bird can drink from the flower besides the bird, this bird, with its long, narrow beak that can enter the hole. So isn't it this is a more precise context-based answer than this very generic answer provided? In fact, I really love her answer. So smart, this student. Next. Okay, next. Secondly, I find part A. The candidate's answer is perfect. And I asked the school, why deduct half mark? So perhaps the handwriting is not very neat. But you can actually accept her answer. So I actually recommend another remark of uh, this answer provided. Let's continue. Case okay, next question is actually related to the same question. Ali realized that it is not possible to predict the change in color of water in test tube D. Explain why. Okay, personally, I do not like this phrase. Explain why, <laughs> because it's like, uh, I think it's not standard English. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, explain why. <laughs> Okay, conceptual understanding is clearly demonstrated by the candidate. Why was she being wrongly penalized? So you can see her answer. She wrote, the dissolved carbon dioxide given out by the tadpole would be taken in by the water plant for photosynthesis as there is light. And the dissolved oxygen given out by the plant would be taken in by the tadpole. Thus, not possible to predict the change in the color. So actually, in other words, we cannot measure the amount of carbon dioxide and oxygen relative volume. So if you look at the answers provided and compare to the answer, I think that there is sufficient uh, grounds for her to be awarded one mark. Okay, I think basically that's all for this student that i like to appeal for her. There's one more here. Okay, this is very interesting. By the way, I have a YouTube channel called One Academy Science Howard, where I actually took I mean, courage and creativity to do this condensation act demonstration outside the Beauty World McDonald's, Beauty World Center. So if you go to Beauty World early in the morning, you'll notice that at the McDonald's uh, restaurant, you can actually practice doing this L-O-V-E. But to promote McDonald's, I do the I did the M, the big M. So you can find it in my YouTube channel. One Academy sign that you key in McDonald's. Okay. So personally, I would accept the student answer and we will award her full marks. Because if you read carefully, her answer is actually more precise. And I pray that the school will return her the half more mark which she deserves. Yeah, if you read here, because she mentioned warmer water vapor from outside the house came into contact with the place the word was written. That means this place where the word was written. That means the warmer water vapor in the surrounding came into contact with this place, right? Okay. And lost heat and condensed to form more fog. Eventually, more warmer water vapor condensed on all the words and became the fog, causing the word not to be seen after a while. Okay, because in the context here, they use the word, explain why the glass window becomes fogged. Okay, they use the word fogged. Yeah, but actually this is tiny water droplets. Okay, the window became fogged. So actually contextually, she's using the same, same uh, syntax. 
she used the word fault. Okay, so that's why I highly recommend the, this answer to be reload. So I think that's all. And uh, today is 1st September. I need to go to my teaching station soon because my 4 o'clock P6 class is going to start. So before I end the class, uh, there's something which I like to share about as educators what we can do be sensitive to the student be open-minded especially after i show this uh, on the social media so i'm treat it as a learning exercise and for students do not panic i mean for parents you may be very concerned with your child performance so this is something i have done if you can see here uh, coming the week monday and tuesday i have this full online training 9.30 to 2.30 p.m. in uh, actually it's Zoom. Okay, why I put it on Zoom? Because my on-site class has been filled two months ago. I limit to a maximum of eight students. I still practice safe distancing sitting, but I will not be teaching with my mask because I'm fully vaccinated. I contacted COVID-19 recovered during the Chinese New Year. So I am um, super immune, <laughs> thankfully. So for students who would like to consider to get the revision, your parents can kindly contact me by today because if you see the closing date has already ceased. But because for the past few days, I received a lot of uh, so-called demands, inquiries for, from parents, hey, why my children didn't perform well. So actually today, as I told you yesterday or this morning, I went to 2.30 a.m. and I managed to take a recovery nap 45 minutes I'm going to start work soon. Haven't taken my lunch yet. So uh, I will extend the deadline until tomorrow, 2nd September. Okay, please contact me 2nd September. And this will be the rate uh, for you all to join. Okay, because you see, I requested them to join earlier because I need to mail them my the book which I shown to you, the my publication because they have been track record where students, they can't come on my lesson, they do self-study. Within 12 hours, they can master. And parents actually text me after the PSL exam that their child did very well after reading my book and following my instructions. So that's why the deadline was put earlier to give me the window to mail out the book. So in that situation, I mean, if I extend to the opening date till tomorrow, you have to arrange your self-collection and maybe courier service where you have to pay for the book to be sent. The worksheets will be sent to you by email. Yeah, because uh, I'm, I'm actually collating different schools' uh, tricky prelim questions. That's why I also need the window of time over this weekend to compile those tricky questions. Because this, this title is called Mastering Hard Questions. Seven solid hours of teaching. So where are these hard questions? It's from last year and this year's prelim questions that will be analyzed. So the good thing is for actually for this, the session will be recorded. So I will allow those paid students uh, the access to revisit this video until the 4th of October, where they take the PSLE science examinations. So this is one thing I like to share. Uh, I try to recall anything I like to share. Yeah, because you see for education, we need to be very focused. Just like we conquer Mount Everest or different mountains in our lives. Actually, PSLE is uh, not the so called life and death. Lah. Okay, I'll give you one very good example. Okay, during my primary school day, when I was in P6, I was absent from school for more than one month. It's not maybe one con continuous month, but sometimes like four days absent from school, sometimes seven days. The longest maybe is nine days. Because during my P6 years, I had asthma. So my cardiovascular system actually is quite weak. At that time, the asthma, they do not have good medication. But I remember my mom do, took care of me and brought me to see the Chinese doctor and a Western doctor and I was using the inhaler. Yeah, so actually I failed my NAFA test. Yeah, and then uh, going to examinations is actually quite a difficult task for me because you see, 
Uh, I'm not sure during that time, uh, PSLE science is a one hour 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. But actually this one hour 45 minutes, uh, I'd like to appeal to the Minister of Education and also the Director General, DGE, to consider increasing the testing time if they use the current test protocol of the current uh, 28 MCQ and then the remaining 14 or 13 open-ended questions to increase the duration by 15 minutes to 2 hours. Okay, why that is so? Because you see, mathematically, for most students, okay, in the current two, 2022 cohort, I believe there are about 39,300 students taking the PSLE examinations. Yeah, I mean, just to round up, basically 39,000. Okay, of these 39,000 pupils, comfortably, I can say about 75%, they can barely manage the 1 hour and 45 minutes. Yeah, actually, it's quite tough. If you're a parent, you can actually try. Number one, the PSLE MCQ questions are actually quite long. So if a slow reader, he actually is being disadvantaged. He needs to process the information and then choose the very tricky four options and then transfer his choice here to the optical answer sheet. Like bear in mind, there are students, they do not have very good psychomotor skill. Eh? Maybe in this question, it's question number seven. But when a student transfer in, I mean, in view of the exam stress around him, he may transfer the number seven answer on the OAS, right? Optical answer sheet and shade the question number eight. So that's why I want to recommend the, the Ministry of Education to reconsider and to consider because I have observed this many years. This is my 25th year of education service one quarter of a century. So increase it to two hours, perhaps from next year. And maybe this year they need the, the executive from the president to sign off from our 5G leaders, Mr. Lawrence Wong, to give a approval. Increase PSLE science examination time to two hours. Because it's a very fair practice, because now if you divide, right, this is what I tell my students who do, are doing the PSLE science examinations. There are 28 questions, MCQ. At most, you spend 45 minutes to cover the 28 questions. That will leave you one minute, uh, sorry, one hour to do the open-ended questions. Okay, I have seen students, actually I have been receiving paper uh, over the past seven days there are students who can't complete the full paper usually the last two MC, uh, last two open-ended questions were half done and the last question not done at all because these are slow readers okay generally slow readers have this pattern but be not 100 percent true one of my students he's a slow reader but he has big handwriting so you see uh, in terms of the mechanical skill to write a big word right they will spend more time presenting the answer compared to another student with moderate handwriting. So usually such students, they do not have excuse from a psychologist uh, to convince school or convince MOE to give them extended time. Okay, usually those with extended time, there are some learning challenges. So MOE give them about 15 to maybe like as much as 30 minutes extra time to complete. So to complete the one hour 45 minute science paper itself is actually a challenge uh, to this perhaps 25% of the population of the 39,000 students. Okay, so uh, for most students, the 75%, I believe you can complete it with maybe five minutes left to check your answers. So this is my advice. Actually, it's shown in my, in my book. Yeah, just to show you, uh, I just remembered, I presented in my... Uh, in my book to guide students how do they space the the timing for the PSLE so if I scroll to the front page of my book this is my forward and my advice to parents these are the strategies and these are the questions so actually this is a new format since 2017 okay in the past before 2017 there are 30 MCQ. So this is weightage is 60 marks. 
So MOE want to actually test students to be able to apply more open-ended answering skills. So they decrease four marks from here. They transfer the four marks to section B. Yeah. Okay, actually this Bible verse reminds me to show you one, uh, one slide before I continue. So just bear with me because this is something important. And this is, has happened during our National Day Parade. If you remember, the, the parish, one of the parachutists, the last one, he actually met with a minor accident and actually he fractured his, uh, some of the bones. I just pray that he can recover well. Yeah, because you see, they practice many National Day Parade rehearsal, even the NE shows. Okay, actually this Bible verse is from Proverbs chapter 21, verse 31. Okay, chapter 21, verse 31, it says, The horse is prepared against the day of battle but safety is of the Lord. Okay, what it means in general is, as parents, as educators, even as teachers, right, we prepare the student for the exam. We prepare the everything so we prepare. But eventually, it is a lot that enables. So coming back to my questions, to my presentation today, why I take so much pain to help this student to secure the seven marks, which I think she was wrongly penalized. Because we cannot assume that, let's say I'm the student, I cannot assume that on the day itself, I'm fit enough to take the exam. Just like the parachutists, I think in the mind of the Minister of Defence, uh, even in the mind of the, the person coordinating the whole National Day Parade, they would not cross their mind that this commando, with so many hours of free fall jumps, so many trainings under the Navy SEALs, perhaps Navy SEALs, can meet with such an unexpected incident that happened on the actual day of National Day today, this year, I mean, 9 August 2022. So actually when that thing happened, I really, this verse actually came to my mind. And I hope that the students, the school also understand why I take so much pain to sacrifice my sleep. Now it's already 3.04, this is a live telecast. Later, 4 o'clock, I'm having my lessons. So I think today, those students who hear my sharing and parents coming for today's tuition, uh, maybe you can ask your child to tap out something nice for me to eat. <laughs> because Mr. Yu is spending this live telecast to educate the parents and also share with them the importance of prayer. Okay, Although your child may not be a Christian, you can also ask me to pray for your child. Yeah, to pray for God's protection over them, yeah, to manage their emotions. Because indeed, we can prepare everything for them swiftly, free, just like the National Day Parade, so many rehearsal. Yeah, but on the final day, it takes only a little bit carelessness uh, to ruin the whole thing. So that's me, you see, for this child, assuming that let's say she can't take the PSLE examination on that day, or maybe your children or other children. That's why there's... This from my understanding that the school will use a prelim result. Okay, in case a child, due to whatever reason, COVID or whatever reason, can't think the cannot take the actual exam. So the prelim result will replace the PSLE. That's why the seven marks that I appeal for this student is very important. And I hope that the school be honest with the parents also, because I was in the school before the school system. So normally we turn the script by yesterday, but today is the last year of school. They celebrate the Teacher's Day holiday. So some, some teachers tell the, the kid, hey, cannot change mark already. Already key into the system. Okay, personally, if I'm the Minister of Education, this is what I will do. Or the DGE, I will tell the school, hey, this is, we are working as educators. Uh, it's not for the marks, you know we are touching lives so this life if she or he answer correctly we cannot penalize system can change okay but we cannot destroy life we can actually you see the PSLE the last paper beside higher Chinese 4th October is science paper PSLE marking exercise starts on the let me check my calendar starts on the 17th of October. Go from 17, 18, 19, 20, four days of PSLE marking exercise. 
After that, the paper sent to HQ to do the statistics and to see the band, the AL grades, tabulate the result. So actually, technically, even up to the 20th of October, system can be altered. Okay, so don't tell the student today is the last day, cannot change marks anymore, system close. So there's nothing as system close. Huh? It's only our heart want to close. System cannot close, system can open. Okay, open system. So the, the student marks can be altered. So that's why I want to share with you uh, from a perspective that as an educator and as a, as a Christian educator, we need to be tender-hearted towards students and parents. So I hope that we can memorize this verse and also to remind ourselves that everything we do, be we are Christian or non-Christians, we need to respect there's a heavenly being that controls everything. But safety is of the Lord. So let me continue my, my presentation as I was sharing with you uh, this slide earlier. So this is the time allocation I tell the student. Okay, so for this part, the MCQ, you spend about 45 minutes and uh, open-ended, one hour. So uh, these are the topics tested in PSLE. And these are the the definitions. So for parents who are maybe keen, if you as I share this book, it may consider a mail order. It's fourteen dollars. I can send to your doorstep mail order or self collection at Beauty World Center at twelve dollars. So these are the science process queue. And this is the open ended. These are the must know. So you can see there's a difference here. Explain give reason or make something clear and simple to understand it is not enough to give only the keywords so the student must explain okay explain and describe is slightly different because describe i just tell them uh, it's just like write a composition narrative composition you write down what you see like a reporter uh, just write down what you see okay for example like this cup right okay, maybe i off this part uh, you can see uh, now it's because there's a there's a visual image behind I stop screen sharing. So for example, the cup I'm holding here, let's say it's hot water. I put it near to my glass. It's not, it's not hot water because now I turn on the aircon. I put the hot water here. You will see condensation happen, right? So if the question is describe what happened, what happened when Mr. Yu put his hot cup of tea near his spectacle. So you will, for describe question is, I would observe the spectacle being forked. Okay, but the question if you change to explain what happened. So you must say the, the warmer water vapor from the hot water comes into contact with the cooler surface of the glass, lost heat and condensed into tiny water droplets which form the forked. So there's a difference between describe and explain. So parents, uh, this is a very useful book and uh, I hope that you can purchase a copy. This book is actually suitable for both uh, P5 as well as P6 student. Yeah, this book is suitable for P5 and P6 student. And uh, for the last week, I've been receiving a request from parents about uh, conducting two days of P5 science uh, essay 2 preparation. So do take note because during the PSLE marking day, I'll be conducting the uh, P5 SA2 science revision on the on the Monday and Tuesday, on the 17th and the 18th of October from 9:30 to 2:30 p.m. So the schedule is actually quite the same as the P6. Okay, this is a standard schedule we have been conducting such training over the past seven years. So there's a 55 minutes lunch break. Okay. So I only limit to eight students per class. So for parents who are having P5 student, you quickly register because I have only four seats left. Yeah, I have not time to do the publicity because I was busy helping my student. I put their interest first to help them appeal first. Yeah. So I got to stop my sharing now. So I wish you all the best in your last lap with your child. And I hope that through this sharing, we can adopt a more positive attitude 
in in training our child because of the future generations of Singapore. Yeah, there's one last thing I'd like to share with P6 parent. Comes 4th October or 5th October, if a child take the PSLE higher Chinese, it's not the end yet. Eh. I let you I let you know why. Because just I was sharing my my personal example, I forgot to end. Eh. I was sharing with you when I was in P6, so I had asthma. So I barely passed the PSLE. Okay, I barely passed the PSLE, but I managed to get into this one of the neighborhood school. I think it's my sixth choice. You got to put the number of choices, right? So I entered my sixth choice school. I'm very thankful to this school because uh, although it is a neighborhood school, the teachers are very caring. God is very gracious to me. So I entered Dunyan Secondary. Okay, Dunyan Secondary School, when I was there, it was actually situated at Hillcrest Road. You know where is Hillcrest Road? Currently, the location is occupied by Raffles Girl Primary School. Raffles Girl Primary School currently is sitting in Mr. Yu's previous secondary school, Dunyan Secondary School. So you remember I have asthma, right? But during the, after PSLE, we have this two months break. Somehow or another, maybe the exam stress has been removed. Huh? My body becomes stronger. <laughs> maybe I can exercise more. So my fitness slowly builds up. And I know that technically from four subjects, I jump to eight subjects, right? If I do not do any head start, I would suffer. So I'm very thankful that time. Uh, my parents give me some money. I went to buy uh, the geography books, the science book in advance. Because during that time, there are very few publishers. Uh, there's only one common geography book, one common science book. So what I did was, I disciplined myself during the holiday. Every day I spent some time reading geography. Because geography is quite interesting, studying the world. Because you know, even before I go secondary school, I think many boys like to do that. I, I like to do, but I don't know whether you like to do. Flip the atlas. Hey, discover where this place, where is Bermuda Triangle? Because YouTube always says about Bermuda Triangle. Where is the Great Wall of China? Uh, where is the North Pole? Where is Antarctica? Okay, where is the highest mountain in the world? Where is the deepest sea in the, in the world? So what I did is I read about geography. So I'm very thankful. Diligence pay off. What you... Uh, in in uh, one of the verses, it says, uh, uh, what you sow, right? You sow what you reap. Okay? So I'm very thankful that in secondary school, although I entered a neighborhood school, standard not very high, but in sec one, I topped the whole school in geography. Scoring 92 marks, I remember. I still keep my secondary school report book. Top student, done in secondary, sec one. Top in geography, sec one. Then in secondary two, uh, because that time I'm not so good in science, uh, I can only select combined science. Yeah. I think now also combined science or they call general science. Yeah, I think it's called general science. So general science, I was in sec two, I believe, or sec one. Because one of the years I taught in geography, the first subsequent year I taught in science. Yeah. So I don't have any tuition uh, from sec one to sec four. So what is the mystery? What is the mystery? Remember? In the Maverick show, right? The Emerald question Maverick. Then he replied. That's a mystery, remember? <laughs> yeah. So the mystery is, after PSLE in my, in my current P6 student, I will give you all a one-month break. That's mean from 5th October to 5th November. You know that you have to come to one academy. Okay, you go for your break. Okay. Then from November onwards, especially during the holiday, I will request the parents to send them for these three days set one head start program okay why is this so useful because i'm a clear example i almost failed my pslE but i topped the school in the o level results because of i what i did is during the two months break i have this head start because it's very simple secondary school is very simple once you start late right you cannot catch up cannot catch up lose momentum lose motivation result will drop so the mystery is you must have a good head start. So you need a personal coach like myself. I will teach your child 
how to do the cell study. I can guarantee you if your child come for my this training, the three days thing, right, it will save you thousands of dollars. No need tuition, huh? okay, except maybe for Chinese. Huh? Yeah, because Chinese, even for myself, I self-learn. Yeah, because I'm very thankful during my primary school day in Real Valley, right, I got a very strict Chinese tuition, a, tu a Chinese teacher, man, uh, discipline master, P6, every, every week, pay zuo wen, recite one composition. Every day, pay chen yu, three chen yu, uh, come to his table. Cannot memorize, cannot whack. That time can whack, uh, can whack with the, the cane or the ruler, right, the wooden ruler, you remember? Uh, so that time, I also treasure the language because I find Chinese is a very interesting language. And then as Chinese, Zhongguoren or Xinjiaporen, <coughs> we must value the language that our mother tongue is. So that's why I want to encourage students, after PSLE, don't relax too much. Huh? You come for Mr. Yu's <coughs> three days set one head start. And that Mr. Yu will help you, just like these fighter planes, to soar to greater heights in a secondary school. Okay, PSLE is just a stepping stone. Okay, you believe me, uh, two students, A, B, right? Okay, this A student, uh, let's say he get or she get uh, AL7. Okay, anything score less than AL10 is considered very good. You get AL7 or maybe AL10. Okay, let's say AL10. Another student, AL11. Uh, sorry, another student, AL18. Okay. Maybe easier for easy comparison, AL8 and AL18. AL8 student, everything relax after PSA, relax, don't touch the book at all. Huh? When the 2023 starts school, they're going to buy textbook and read. AL18 student, listen to Mr. Yu's advice. Okay, you do not need to wait until the result announced, huh? then you join Mr. Yu because that time is so too late. Because personally, you know, ma. Your prelim result is a good gauge. Okay, the, the AL18 student listen to my advice, parents listen to my advice. Okay, most of the time is parents don't believe, okay? Parents don't believe. They say, hey, wait until set one, then start. It's too late already, okay? Because I'm the real life example. Yeah, in my school, I think very few students like myself <laughs> discipline enough to do the self-studies. So the AL18 student listen to me. I guide him or her to discipline himself or herself to do self-studies in geography, mathematics, science, and English. This four subject is the foundation, I repeat. Science, mathematics, geography, and English. Okay, because for Chinese, this one I can refer you to good tutors. Okay, but for this four, I can help your child head start. So you can compare, like, you pay maybe $300 for this three-day workshop. That will save you maybe at least, uh, at least uh, just a conservative measure, at least $7,000 in tuition fees from SEC 1 to SEC 4. Okay. 7000 is actually quite little, uh, 7000 7, because currently I think most of you are paying about close to $1,000 for every 14 lessons. So one, one year, maybe it's 3000 So three times four, because secondary school tuition more expensive. Okay, maybe you put it at Three da, three thousand, three thousand one year. You times four, right? It's twelve thousand dollars. So you want to spend three hundred dollars? Come for Mister Yu's tuition, set one head start. Okay, or you want to spend the twelve thousand dollars over four years? So the decision is yours. Because for me, I have a. I need to end the class now to take the cap to my lesson. So stay safe, take care, and God bless.